Now let's talk about the electronegativity. It is the tendency of bonded atoms to attract the shared electron pairs. Consider the covalent molecules which are between the two different atoms. Consider the water molecule which has two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Oxygen atom attracts the shared electron pair towards itself, making itself partially negatively charged while the hydrogen becomes partially positively charged. So this kind of behavior of atoms to attract the shared electron pair towards themselves unequally in a bond is known as the electronegativity. It is determined by the scales of electronegativity, which are devised by the Pauling and Mulligans. The Pauling scale is based upon the value of bond energy. If you know the bond energy of the reactants, you can find out the bond energy of the products. And after finding the bond energy of the product, you can find out the difference between the electronegativity of two bonded atoms by the reaction of A and B. The product AB is formed. For example, EAB is the bond energy of the product, which is equal to the bond energy of reactants. Taking the product and then the square root, you can find out the bond energy of the product, which is AB. And if you know the bond energy of the product, you can find the value of delta. And after finding the value of delta, just divide it with 96.6 and then take the square root you will get the difference of electronegativity between A and B atom. Let's do it with an example. The bond energy of hydrogen is 436 kJ per mole. Bond energy of chlorine is 243 kJ per mole. And bond energy of the product HCl is 431 kJ per mole. Find out the value of delta which is equal to E A to B minus square root of E A A cross E B B. Just put the data and you can find the value of delta which is equal to 106 and then divide the 106 by 96.6 and then take the square root. You will find out that the difference of electronegativity between chlorine and hydrogen is 1.05. If the difference of electronegativity between the two atoms is less than 1.2, the bond is non-polar. The electrons are equally shared between the two atoms. If the difference of electronegativity is greater than 1.7, the bond between the two atoms is ionic. If the difference is between the 1.2 and 1.7, the bond formed between the two atoms is polar and the electrons are unequally shared between the two atoms. However, Mulligan's also devised a scale based upon the values of ionization energies and electron affinity. He says that you can find out the value of electronegativity of an atom if you know the ionization energy values and electron affinity values for first electron. Divide it by 2 and multiply the whole with 1 by 2.8. By doing so, you can find out the values of electronegativity for a particular atom and it is represented by xm which is the values of electronegativity based upon the Mulligan scale. The Pauling scale is related to the Mulligan scale by xp which is representing the Pauling scale equals to 0.3 xm minus 0.2. This is how the values of electronegativities are interconvertible into both Mulligan's and Pauling scale. The Mulligan scale is superior than the Pauling scale and its values are 0.8 times higher than the Pauling scale. The factor 1.56 is the normalization factor. And overall, the Mulligan scale is based upon the average of ionization energy and electron affinity values for a particular atom.